my background is in chemical and process engineering. So although I work for a rotating equipment uh, manufacturer, um, I spend most of my time teaching the mechanical engineers about process design. So um, that's what we're going to talk about today is, is the process requirements around screw compressors. It's a speciality for me is in, in screw compression. However, Howden do a number of other uh, products as well, uh, from blowers to piston compressors, etc. Okay, so uh, screw compressor package process design. Um, so first of all, I'll touch on choosing the right compressor you know, for the right application. So that's, that's key. And obviously that with Howden, we have expert experts in a number of different compressor um, technologies. Um, therefore, we can pull on that resource and, and, and provide you with the correct solutions. And um, we'll then discuss, uh, or put, touch on the um, uh, suction conditions of a compressor and, um, and what the key parameters are, etc. Um, and then the discharge conditions, and then also look at selection and sizing of screw compressors, um, what parameters impact them the most. Um, we'll then spend most of the presentation looking at your know, package design. And I'll talk you around the PNIDs, each of the components, why they're there, what they do, you know, and, and um, what the, 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 the required conditions are at those points. And then at the end, we'll discuss, uh, I've put some simplified case studies together, um, which we can go through, and it's situations where there's an upset condition on the compressor and figuring out from the operating information what's happened. Slightly simplified, but all the information is there. Um, please feel free at any moment if you don't understand something or you want me to explain a bit further, just stop me there. Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm quite happy. I'd rather have a discussion with you than, than talking at you, so please. Okay, so, so screw compressor technology is choosing the correct compressor type, okay? Um, I originally put this together for a, a shell presentation. Um, they, they asked us to provide just a basic outline of, of what compressor suits what sort of situation or, or application. Um, this is specific to you know, Howden, Howden technology, so there may be other manufacturers that can do maybe slightly different operating points. Um, but I mean, it's, it's quite self-explanatory, so I won't go through all of it, but the key points for screw compression is to look here. Um, so it says here, uh, gas uh, is the gas dew point at P2, or i.e. compressor discharge flange, um, less than 100 degrees Celsius. That's really key because uh, oil-injected screw compressors require to have a difference in the operating temperature and the dew point of at least 10 degrees Celsius to prevent there from being any contaminants in the lubricating oil that's sent back to the compressor, but we'll discuss that in more detail later. Um, the second point is around trace oil carryover um, in your application. Okay? You can get really efficient um, separation of oil and gas, but you're never going to get 100% separation. So you're going to always have a little bit of, of, of oil in your discharge gas. Um, so if, you, if, you, if that is, isn't acceptable, then you really need to go down to the oil-free screw compressor applications. Otherwise, you can utilize your oil-injected screw compressor. Okay. And a lot of the applications we work on, we work in, uh, in competition with piston compressors, even although Howden do also provide piston compressors. Um, but the key um, benefit of the screw compressor is because of the ro rotating um, movement of the compressor, um, instead of you know, uh, forward and backwards motion, you don't get the same wear that you would on a piston compressor. So the availability and reliability of screw compressors is higher than a piston compressor.